Hello and welcome back to Here We Tow. Today we are jumping in the motorhome and we're heading up to Ullswater, which is in the Lake District. It's in the Penrith uh, area, if you know it. So Ullswater is a quieter area. It's less commercial than, say, uh, the Keswick, Windermere, Bowness areas. So we're heading there. We're staying at a private site called Hillcroft. Not been before, so we'll give it a go. I've chosen my pitch and I've chosen a big one, so we'll wait and see when we get there. The plan is, is to arrive, get set up on the pitch, then we're going to have a walk into Pooley Bridge from the site, have a look, hopefully get a pub tea, and tomorrow we're going to jump on the boat and do the one hour boat trip from Pooley Bridge down to Glenridding, down uh, Lake Ullswater. That is the plan, so stay with us if that's of interest to you. I haven't been to Lidl and bought loads of rubbish this time, and I'm not doing that en route either. So let's jump on board and I'll see you at Hillcroft Park at Pooley Bridge. Right, come on, let's go. So we have arrived after a journey, it's about an hour and three quarters from home. I went up the A1 and then turned left onto the A66 and towards Penrith. And then I think, I think I probably shouldn't have gone where the sat nav told me, which was like on a B road. And it was a little bit, a bit narrow in places. Um, so I've tested that out for us and I, I probably won't do that way. It was all right today because the roads weren't busy, but if it was busy, you would have a bit of, um, you could have a moment. I had a couple of moments when I met a tractor, a wagon, and um, some roadworks, which meant the road was really narrow. Um, but yes, we are here. Jules en route ate uh, egg mayo sandwiches and a samosa. This is the reception area. So when you arrive, Jules has just shot in basically to check in. But as you come up the hill, this is reception. There is a little um, supermarket just behind us, like a little on-site shop. And then we're going to head up there into the park. So what I'll do is I'm going to head to the motorhome service point um, and I'm going to head to my pitch and have a recce, suss it out, and I'll tell you a bit more about Hillcroft, how much it's cost, um, and some details about it. And we'll have a look round. Okay, so I will see you somewhere on the site. We've got onto the pitch, this is C37. Now, when I went online on the website, I booked, and it's, this is hard standing with electric. They've got fully serviced pitches as well. They do have some grass. Um, this is 38 pounds a night, but obviously it depends on the time of year. I chose C37. Um, as you can see, good size pitch. We're nosing as usual. As we've come in, we've driven up that hill and come in here and that up there that you can see, that's the service block. It looks absolutely beautiful. It's obviously very new. A little bit strange, there is a motorhome service point, but it's grey waste. There was no fresh water tap. So where you get your fresh water, I'm a little bit confused because I saw a tap sort of up there, but that's obviously for filling uh, aqua rolls as well. So it's not specific for motorhomes. So whether you can just attach your 
tap uh, your hose on there, I don't know, but I'll have to find that out. Um, thankfully, I've got water on board. But this is um, a large part of the touring area, as you can see here. Um, absolutely beautiful. And yeah, our, our big pitch. So £38 a night. This is the top end of what we would pay, if I'm honest, for um, especially just with electric. Um, but it is the Lake District, so I think, unfortunately, it's the way sort of prices are, really. I'm going to get the electric hookup cable out, um, so I'm not using my gas to keep my fridge running. And then I'm going to get something to eat because I am absolutely starving. So let me get my electric out, which is what I always say as well. When you arrive, when you pack your garage, have what you need, like right here. So like for us, we've got our electric cable, we've got the hose for water, <laughs> we've got our chair so I can get sat out straight away, although not today because look at the weather. So I'm going to get hooked up and then what we'll do is we'll have a little trot around the site and just I'll show you those bits that I mentioned up there and then we'll go have a walk into Pooley Bridge um, and then we're going to find a pub tonight I think for some tea. Right, I'm going to get cracked on so I'll catch you in a bit. Well would you believe it the sun's come out in the Lake District but don't worry it's going to rain tomorrow so don't get excited. So we're C37, our pitch. And as you can see, the sort of all the pitches go up um, in a line. A lot of these are just electric on this side and then there's some fully serviced um, over on the other side. But they're a really good size. I mean, obviously you can see from ours. This one, look at this one. So this is actually two pitches. Um, I was tempted to book this and maybe I should because look at that view. Um, this is sort of two pitches but there's no actual divide in the middle here. Um, that's C38 and C39 so if you wanted a big pitch with a spectacular view, Pauley Bridge is literally just down there. So what we'll do is we'll just have a wander up to the facility block which is um, obviously in that direction. So that's the facility so we'll go and have a look in there. What I believe is they actually have a private bathroom here that you can rent as well. Um, so if you want a private bathroom, you can, you can have that. But I don't know the ins and outs of that one. I haven't, uh, I haven't made any inquiries about a private bathroom. I'm quite happy with my private bathroom in the motorhome. Um, so let's go and have a look here. I'll show you that mot motorhome service point and we'll see what there is in here. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you into the ladies and just show you that. So I shall take this and venture in. So this is the ladies facilities. Just go have a look in here. So as you come in, oh, this is really nice. So you've got that beautiful sort of picture on the wall, lots of cubicles and then loads of sinks down this side. Just see what's in here. So in this side, I'll poke my head in one, see what we're getting. Ah, so the showers are sort of fixed heads um, and push up the wall. Might even be a sensor that and a spinner. I won't do it while I'm fully dressed. Let's just have a look further down, see if any of them are different. I think they're all pretty much the same, but good sized cubicles. You've got a little bench there, as you can see, uh, a hook and then a um, good amount of room. So that's the showers and then the toilets, hair dryers, and sinks. Right, I'll venture back out and find Jules. So that was the ladies, the gents is opposite. There we go, have you been in the gents, Jules? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not convinced that's not underfloor heating in there. Oh, it might it be. It feels really warm. Yeah. And it's... Did you take your shoes off? No, no, I felt <laughs> Did you slip your shoes off to dress? Yeah, <laughs> And we've got accessible uh, facilities as well here. Right, let's, I'll, give you, I'll give you back to Jules because he's a little bit more responsible than I am. So Jules has, um, Jules has taken control of the camera again. They're, they're actually pretty stunning, aren't they, to be yeah. fair? They're probably some of the best facilities I have seen. Ah, this will be the private bathroom. It's going to be locked because you've got to pay to use it. I'll, I'll just pull the door, see if it is locked. Yeah, so that's where the private bathroom is. Uh, can't show you it, but there we go. Now this. This is where, when we arrived, um, we literally came up the hill from the reception, followed it round, all the way round, and we arrived there, and then we turned left here. So at the big tree, we turned left, and this was where 
the motorhome service point is, but it's only grey waste disposal, not fresh water. But it's a brand new facility. So literally, you pull your motorhome in here. We had no problems. I mean, look at the size of it. You'd, you could get a, you know, nine, 10 metre motorhome on there. No problems. We reversed in. We're seven and a half metres. They've got the grates there. And then you can actually rinse off if needs be. There's um, a water hose there. Don't, I wouldn't advise you trying to stick that in your fresh water tank. That didn't look like it was suitable for that. Um, hence, we didn't do that. So that's that. And the chemical disposal point is literally just here to my right hand side. So if you've driven up in your motorhome, a brilliant, you can empty your loo and drop your grey waste. If you're with your caravan, obviously uh, wander up and drop your cassette there. There's um, a recycled to well, bin point literally just here as well on the end. Um, and this is another, this is a top of different part of the touring park. These are the bees, I'm in the seas, um, and these are the bees. I, I'm not sure if all of these are fully serviced or just some of them. You'd have to look on the website for, for Hillcroft Park. And I'll put a link obviously in the description below. So that's this top end of the park. They've also got some camping pods um, that you can hire. And there's lots of static caravans. And I know a lot of those are privately owned. I don't know whether you can Again, rent one of those or not, have a look at the website and um, check it out. So what we're going to do next is, oh wow, if we just stop here, can you, if we just walk to the end, can you see the water? The, that's Ull's water down there. So that is the actual lake. That's where we're heading to. Um, Ull's water, large lake. Um, it's, we are at the moment to the east of Keswick. Um, Keswick is on Derwent water. We did do a vlog about a trip to Keswick, which will be again down there. So you can check that out. That was um, camping caravanning club site at Keswick. Um, but yeah, so Ulls water tomorrow, I'm going to go down there today, but tomorrow we're going to take the boat um, and go all the way down the lake. It's an hour each way. So a two hour boat ride. So we'll do that tomorrow. But right now what we're going to do is we're going to trot back down the road the way we came in, head back to reception and venture out and walk into Pooley Bridge itself um, and have a look down there. So we'll crack on and we'll do that. So we've just come down from the touring park and here's a recreation field. There's a really nice playground that we can see and you can also see um, Ulls water just through the trees. I don't know if you can see the sun reflecting off the water there. So you've got this really good children's playground and then this nice area to play on and that's what it's uh, designed for. It is a dog friendly site as well. I forgot to mention that. Um, there's a few little dog walks on the site um, and yeah, dog, dog friendly. So we're just gonna carry on down here. This is the entrance to the uh, park where we came in um, and pass that little shop. So we're gonna head out of the main entrance which is just down this slope. It is quite steep. So if you have mobility issues, bear in mind, this is quite a steep park because the lakes are quite hilly um, and this is particularly uh, hilly. Once we get to the exit and we pop out, we literally go straight across the road and we follow that road and it takes us straight into Pooley Bridge. So that is our current, um, our current route at the moment. So we'll see you a little bit further down there. So when we walk down from site, we've gone straight across the road to a mini roundabout, left at the mini roundabout, and it's brought us along this way. As you come through, there's a few pubs. This one here, the Pooley Bridge Inn. The reviews look really good for this one, so that's one to try. And then on the other side of the road, there's one called the Crown Inn. That's just over there. And that actually backs onto the water. Um, I'm going to try that one tonight because a friend of ours is here and has recommended that. So that's where we're going to head. We'll just venture on here a little bit further and just have a quick look just so you can uh, see what there is. Ahead of us, you'll see something called Village Stores. I don't know if you can see that on the right hand side next to the Crown Inn. That Village Stores, obviously there's a store, there's all sorts in there. But if you go through there to the back, there's a little cafe called The Secret Garden and that's meant to do really good um, sort of uh, food and drink. So the secret garden, apparently you wouldn't know it was there unless you wandered in. So there we go. Right, we're coming to some traffic lights and these traffic lights is um, obviously Pooley Bridge. What we'll do is we'll dive, we'll dive onto that bridge and just have a look. So um, I'll see you on the bridge. 
I didn't get as far as the bridge. I missed, I missed Granny Dowkins. That's the right way to pronounce it. That gets really good reviews for cakes and stuff. So I'm definitely going to try that, hopefully tomorrow. And we are now on the bridge. So if you look just down here to the left, you can see just down here, we will go on the bridge, but you can see down there, you can just sort of get down to the water's edge. You can see that. And then... Oh, I can smell food. <laughs> I can smell food as well. We're, we're quite peckish now. We've been going all day. Right, let's go and have a look over this bridge. OK, so we are on the bridge now. Um, and this is basically the top of Ulls Water. So if you're wanting to come down into Pooley Bridge and then take the boat trip, what you need to do is come over this bridge where we're going now and basically just keep walking. We're going to do this tomorrow, but I won't show you all this tomorrow morning again because you've seen it now. What we're going to do in the morning is we're going to keep walking down there and that's where we're going to find the Ulls Water steamer and we're going to jump on a boat and do the boat trip. And I'll obviously tell you a bit about, more about that um, tomorrow when we go and do it, about how much it costs and where you end up. So that is Pooley Bridge. If you want to park for the boat, this is where you need to park on the other side of the road. So when you come into Pooley Bridge, they don't, from what I can read, have um, parking down at the steamers. So you need to come to one of the other car parks around Pooley Bridge. This is Dun Mallard Car Park, as we can see here, and you park on the app. Good amount of parking. If you've got a motorhome, you're probably going to be OK parking in there as well. Um, plenty of space. So that is the car park. You can also take several of the walks. There's a path here, heads off there as well. So you can continue on these footpaths and do various walks. There's a circular walk you can do as well. Right, so... That's Pooley Bridge. You can see, ah, you can see over there, that's the Crown Inn. When I said it backs onto the, the water, um, you can sit out. Although the sun's out at the moment, it's freezing. That's why I've got my big coat on. So we're going to head over to the Crown now and get some tea. So I'll tell you how good the food is once we've been. Come on, let's go and get some tea. Right, we've been in there for a few hours. I had the fish and chips, which uh, was amazing. 10 out of 10, that in there, the crown, my fish and chips, probably some of the best pub, pub fish and chips I've had. Uh, Jules got a burger. Was it good, Jules? Yeah, and Jules said his was very good. Was yours a 10 out of 10? And Jules says his is a 10 out of 10 as well. I nearly got a pudding, um, but I held off. I'm going to do that tomorrow <laughs> instead. So we're going to walk back up now. It's a bit of an uphill walk, so I'm going to walk back up to the site, get an early night. Tomorrow morning, we'll head straight down, get on that steamer and go down the water. So, yeah, brilliant, right? I'm going to venture off um, and make my way back up to the uh, motorhome. And, um, yeah, some of the little, oh, yeah, look, Ulls Water Steamers, local information point. That's who we're going on the boat with tomorrow. Um, and look, the Pooley Bridge Inn, that looks nice on the night, all lit up. It's really nice. This is such a nice spot. It's so... Um, it's so calm for the Lake District. I know it's the end of April, so it is going to be quieter, but yeah, having a great time. OK, I'll wrap it up and I will catch you in the morning. Good morning, day two. We had a brilliant sleep last night. Slept like a little loglet in there. Um, really quiet, the sight, didn't hear any noise and it was really dark as well. So we had a really good sleep. We're up this morning and we're heading down to the Ullswater steamers to get the boat from Pooley Bridge to Glen Ridding. What I'll do is I'll show you down there and tell you a bit more about it when we get there. But it's going to take an hour to sail um, all the way down the lake um, and I'm looking forward to it. And then we're going to sail back and we're going to go to the cafe in Pooley Bridge 
the Mrs. Dibby Dobkins or whatever it was called. I'll have to look at the name again. I can't remember the name, but we're going to go there and get cake afterwards. So that's the plan. Um, yeah, so I think it's going to be from here about 15 minute walk to get the steamer. So come on, let's go. We've walked through Pooley Bridge and we've arrived here at Oldswater Steamers. Now they have got a website, I'll put a link below. You can book online or you can turn up at the ticket office and buy your tickets here. You get single or returns. Now this is the Pooley Bridge Terminal. We're going to get the boat here. The first stop is Howtown Pier. That's closed today because they're actually redoing some work on it. And then that carries on to Glen Ridding. So we're going all the way to Glen Ridding. It's an hour's trip. It's a bit choppy today, so we'll see how we fare on the boat. And then at Glen Ridding, we'll get a cup of tea and then we'll stay there for a bit and then come back and then we'll go get some cake. In here, they actually, as well as selling tickets, have a nice little um, coffee shop so you can get a cup of tea or a latte. And then we head off down here. So this is the wooden pier that we can see. So once you've got your ticket, you want to come down here and you're going to get on the steamer down there and, uh, and then hopefully arrive at the other end. Now, if you're bringing your dog, you can take your dog on the boat. This is little Bramble here, and Bramble is going on the boat. Bramble, are you going on the boat trip? Yes. So Bramble, Bramble's ready to go. It's a pound to take your dog, as I say. Um, but yeah, so we're really excited to get on the boat and uh, head off down to Glen Ridding. Uh, right, so come on, let's go jump on that boat.
We've arrived down in Glenridding. The boat trip was brilliant. And although it's choppy, the boat was obviously very heavy because there was no bobbing about. So really smooth little sailing. That was our boat there, Lady of the Lake. Um, and they've got another one, the Lady Wakefield. So we've, we've come down on that. And you can just see the sea where obviously we've sailed down. And then if you look this way as well, I mean, sadly, it is a little bit cloudy today, but I can't do much about the weather. Um, but it is still absolutely stunning. The um, Glen Ridding um, ticket office and um, little shop is here. Um, and this is where we've now arrived on this pier. So what we're going to do, we're going to walk into Glen Ridding itself, which is just up there. I've never been, so we might as well go and explore and take a look. I'm hoping to find a coffee shop because one, I'm rather cold and ready for a hot chocolate and two, I'm rather hungry and I'm ready for something to eat. So let's go see what's in Glen Ridding. We've walked up from the pier, away from the water, and then at the top of the road, we turn right and we've arrived here in uh, Glen Ridding. Just follow the signs, it says village and shop. So just over here, there's the Ulls Water Inn, which is a large pub. That's part of a really quite well-known chain, especially around these uh, sort of the northern part of England. So that's worth stopping in. There's a little walking shop. There's a mini market. I'm just gonna run in there maybe and have a quick look because um, someone said they might do pies, but I don't know, I'll go find out. And um, there's a little cafe next door to that. And then there's another little cafe over there. And then there's also a, another little pub called Traveller's Rest. So there's plenty of little bits here. And there's this nice, over this wall, if you don't know if you can see it, there's a nice like little um, sort of stream or brook just running down. So that's Glen Ridding. What we're going to do is we're going to find somewhere to get um, a hot drink. I might go try that cafe there. I don't know, I'll have a look. So. That's the next plan, I'll update you as we go. So in the end, we chose Fell Bites, uh, the car park, as we walked uh, through. This is where the cafe is situated and it's a really good paying display car park. Room for your motorhome as well. And we've come into Fell Bites and I've had cake. I've had chocolate cake and it was amazing. Um, I definitely recommend the cakes here. And I also had a hot chocolate and Jules had a latte. So if you are peckish, do stop off here. It has now started raining. That is not a surprise for the lakes. We're going to walk back to the Oldswater steamer next and we're going to get the steamer back up to Pooley Bridge. So what I'll do, because it is hammering it down, I'm going to dash back to the boat and we will next see you in Pooley Bridge. We've got off the boat, we've made it back into Pooley Bridge. That trip was brilliant. Absolutely recommend the boat trip. We've had a really good time. You can also go to the Ara Falls as well um, from Glen Ridding and get on a different boat and go up to the waterfall. So that's a different little trip as well you can do. We're not doing that today. As you can see, it's now raining. Um, we have made it back to Pooley Bridge and we're going to get some lunch because we're quite hungry. And we're going to stop at Granny Dowbeckins. I've called it many things in this video but that's what it's properly called, so Granny Dow Beckins. We'll have some lunch and then we'll venture back up to the motorhome, so let's go get something to eat. We're back in the motorhome after a visit to Granny Dow Beckins, which I believe I've got the name right this time. I've said Hopefully. It, I've said it about eight times and it's changed every time, but you know where I mean, you've seen it. We went in and we had lunch. I had jacket potato and beans. Spoiler, 10 out of 10. Jones. I got... <laughs> I got the Greek chicken kebab, grilled chicken, garlic mayo. Oh, ten out of ten. Oh yeah, yeah. It really. We good. we would have taken some photos, but unfortunately, we were so excited when the food arrived and starving, we just we just ate it. So I do apologise, but yeah, really, really good food. We have really good food in like the, the boat, food. The, the food down here has been yeah really good. I haven't been able to yeah. fault it. To no. be fair. It's been brilliant. So we made it back to the motor home and obviously it's still raining. We have had a really good time here at Hillcroft Park. First time we've ever been and we will definitely be coming back. This has been brilliant. Pooley Bridge is a great base. What we've liked is it's less commercial than say Keswick, Bowness, Windermere, but there's so much to do in Pooley Bridge if you like food. The boat trip's great. You're close to Penrith as well. 
And what we found was in Pooley Bridge, there's a bus stop and you can get on the bus yeah. and the bus will take you to Keswick or to Penrith or other places in the Lake District. So if you're in the motorhome and you don't want to go driving around the lakes, because some of the roads are quite narrow and parking isn't always that easy, you can jump on the bus. Yeah. Um, so there's so many walks as well. Yeah. The, the, if you look on some of the uh, OS maps... There's there's walks everywhere. Everywhere seems to be dog friendly. Yeah, really. And you, everywhere seems yeah. to be friendly. Just in general, it's yeah, um, yeah it's it's really nice. Yeah. I've had a really really nice really time. Good time. And I've been really chilled out. Yeah. It's uh, yeah. It's been it's been such a such a laid back sort of. I don't know if that's come across in in the videos. For the two sure. times that you've seen him. <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah. But uh, no, it's, no, we've uh, had a really nice really time. Really nice time. And, Full disclosure as well, as I was walking down to the um, Ullswater steamer, when we got there, they were aware we were filming some content and they actually offered us two complimentary tickets for that boat trip, which we were actually ready to pay for and go on. So just to be completely transparent, we did get complimentary tickets. So thank you, obviously, to them for that. But we really enjoyed that boat trip because we've done the Keswick one Keswick, before. Yeah. Obviously, that we filmed and we put on before. Yeah. So. so to go on this one, which was an hour's trip um, down to Glen Ridding, yeah, we'd definitely Highly do that again. I it, yeah. It was great. Downstairs, they, they even had a little area where you could buy drinks, hot drinks, alcoholic yeah. drinks. Yeah, um, there were some so, American tourists on yeah. a tour, obviously, and they were straight on the whiskies, weren't they? They were having the best time ever. Yeah, so, good. yeah, really good. Right, so there we go. Hillcroft uh, Park, Pooley Bridge uh, on Lake Ullswater in the Lake District. Definitely, 100% recommend coming here and doing a bit of the stuff we've done. Yeah. You'll probably see us again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you do. Yeah, we'll be back. Absolutely. So there we go. So, as always... Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.